Hello. Welcome to my channel. I am Lady Calamere. I thank you for being here. I am doing my 167th presentation. It will be on the crystal Celestite. And the second I turned on the cameras, my cats became active. Hello, Joker. You hear his bell? Loki is here, too. He's off to the sidelines there. So, Celestite, what is it? Celestite is a wonderful, wonderful crystal. And the closest thing that acts like Celestite that's actually a bit cheaper would be Angelite. But, I like Angelite, but I also really love Celestite. And I have some small pieces here. So, I really love Celestite. Celestite is a wonderful, wonderful stone. The most common color you're going to get is blue. But it does come in an array of different colors. Like white, gray orange, red, reddish to a, a brown or a yellow or a green. Now, the red ones, they were mined out. So, they're pretty much like very hard to find if they actually are on the market. So, Celestite has a Mohs hardness of three to three and a half. Talc is 1, and Diamond is a 10. So, just show you how soft and even brittle these stones are. I know they're made into jewelry, but they're usually used in small pieces, and it would not be wise to make them into rings. And if you do have a ring, I would not play any contact sports or wash any dishes with them. They're not to be kept out in the sun. I mean, you can use it for a little bit out in the sun, but the sun will sap its color away. So... Celestites they're mainly going to work with the throat chakra the third eye, the crown which is the seventh then you're going to get into the eighth through the fourteenth chakra which is above the head Celestite the numbers it vibrates to is two and eight. Two, the number two, and the number eight. Its astrological sign is Gemini. That's what it's going to work with. An element with it that it works with is wind. You can see these beautiful pieces I have. Celestite they are uh, a strontium what is it called? strontium sulfate that's what it's and it's crystal system the crystal system of Celestite is orthrohombic And they form both in prismatic crystals as well as tabular. But they also come, sometimes come, they occur as a, like fibrous, massive, nodular or granular con uh, shapes and configurations. So, as you can see, they can be quite transparent. 
and you see the geodes strontium which makes up this crystal is actually used in fireworks to make the red color when it burns yes they make red fireworks this was actually my first piece of celestite and I got it at time by gems by mail when they gave a free piece of celestite and I really fell in love with them I knew about them I knew quite a bit about them but I never had one I never owned one until then now this crystal was initially introduced into the market in 1792 however they were known before 1792 but then they were marketed and it was the person who found who marketed named it after the uh, Latin word which I believe is Calestis which translate as celestial or heavenly this stone is also called Celestine and you can call it Celestite or Celestine either one is fine you see all these pretty lines. I've given quite a few away. Like I had this whole container filled. So I gave half my little ones away. So Celestite. Would you stop it little boy? Ow! Oh my god little boy celestite is found throughout the world including Ohio United States Madagascar would you stop <laughs> little boy you're tickling me why am I trying to go want to go here and stop being annoying. Do you want to go on top of the table? Huh? So what was I saying? Oh yeah, where Celestite is found. Celestite is found in Ohio, United States, Madagascar. Thank you for your interruptions. Libya, Egypt, Great Britain, Peru and Poland so actually the enormous pieces are found in the enormous blue pieces are found in Madagascar I know there was uh, the red ones were from Canada I believe it was the red ones and they were all mined out unfortunately So, I'm trying to think, were they from Canada? I believe so. So, anyways, Celestite. is really really good for uh, contacting the angelic realm and also well I know some people don't feel comfortable with that word but also like higher entities on the, there there are higher vibrational higher realm entities and would you stop it Here he goes. There's Loki. Yeah, he's getting better, which I'm glad. Now, the variety of Ohio Celestite, which I don't. You cannot help yourself 
to my crystals. I'm sorry. I, if you're new to this channel, I don't use scripts or notes. I abhor them. So, I... Uh, someone wants to use them that's fine that's not how i roll and i do have the four c's here craziness chaos cats which are cute apparently Apparently, I have to hide everything. So, Celestite. Powerful for working with higher energy spirit guides. Connecting with entities on higher realms. These are wonderful to work with selenite. So if you need a, a good circle of protection and positivity, what you do is, especially if you're contact, if you have to do some work and you feel uncomfortable and you're in the circle or whatever, you could put selenite, celestite, selenite, celestite, selenite, celestite, right? It could be as many selenite and celestites as you want but it should be in the source selenite like selenite celestite selenite celestite all around you it's going to create a barrier a really wonderful protective energy around you a real great barrier i'm telling you and if you feel like you have some negativity or something's really bothering you you can create a circle and just step into it and just, you know, you can sage yourself or whatever and let this demand that it leaves. Okay. you Even Celeste by itself is great. It's a great, it has great positive energies. It's good when you feel panicky or nervous. So... It's even better when it touches your skin so they are a high vibration stone celestite are considered a high vibration stone however when this high vibration doesn't make you feel like you're on a rocket ship it's sort of like it makes you float like you're on a cloud it is a very so it, 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 the name fits it perfectly this is great for really a communication stone to communicate what you want to say what you're thinking what you've been afraid to say what you know that needs to be said and it can actually help you choose your words wisely so that you can say things and a manner that needs to be told. And sometimes the truth hurts. But needs to be told. But it can also, if you want, help you soften your words or soften the blow. So that this can actually help you to come to communicate in a place of love. Especially when you have to do intervention for a family or for a family member or a friend someone that you care about so if you're having an intervention meeting it's good to have celestite on you it's good to have celestite in the in the room because sometimes the, the intervention is meant to stop something worse so maybe you have a friend or family member that is suicidal Maybe you have to confront it because you're, you know, the drinking or drug problem has really gotten out of control. Maybe they are mentally ill and they really need help. And, or they're in a very bad relationship or in a very 
self-destructive pattern. So this can help. It's great for interventions. If you are a therapist, this is great to have because a lot of people that you have to talk to, some, some of them are a pleasure, but some of them can really wear you down. Okay? So, this is great for the psychotherapist, for, for a counselor, or if you are... Oh, what are they called? They're not therapists. They're a, a life advisor, I think they're called. But it's great if you do that. If you are someone that is a, a motivational speaker, this is great to make you feel even more motivated. And to bring that energy out to the world. Celeste has a way of putting so much positive energy out. That it can start affecting you in a positive manner. And it's great for an aura cleanser of you, your home, your animals. It's probably, if you do a lot of work in your car, maybe you should have one, a celestite in your vehicle. Just make sure, you know, you don't let the sun destroy it. And know that they are brittle. So, you know, if you live in environments where it gets really moist and stuff... You know, you don't want your crystal to get ruined. So, again, you don't want it to drop like I knew he had one drop. I would have been very sad because this is my first, first piece of Celestite ever. So, we'll put some out since the little ones are away. Now, Golden Celestite, that was actually from Eastern Europe. Golden Celestite from Eastern Europe have also disappeared from the marketplace. It became very popular in the 1990s. No, I only have Blue Celestite. I don't have any of the colors I would show you. But they're gone. They're gone. Now, Celestite is about awareness. Awareness. It really elevates your awareness. But it can help you to be aware of even energies, things that you weren't attuned to before can help you. Now, some people say they use this for uh, sleeping. However, some, sometimes this can keep you up because of its vibration. And some people have used this for uh, lucid dreaming. But some people have had effects like it keeps them up at night. I try not to get your celestite wet because water can uh, mess it up. So if you're wearing it, don't go into the pool or the beach with this. You're going to ruin your crystal. Okay? So... This is an environmental cleanser. It brings soft, positive energies. It's great to have around during healing work or meditation work. Or 
if you don't feel comfortable for some reason that you some reason something's telling you I don't feel comfortable meditating right now I don't feel comfortable doing astral projection I don't know why it could be that something around you is not good and you got that creepy feeling you ever had that creepy feeling that you're being followed or you're being watched and you just don't feel comfortable sometimes your psychic senses are warning you it could be that so celestite and selenite are great to go together i i have a big piece of uh big piece of pink selenite but you don't need pink selenite you just can use your average run-of-the-mill white selenite In fact, you can use selenite as a charger crystal and as cleansing for your celestite. Because sometimes your celestite is going to need cleansing. So you can leave it upon a selenite to help it cleanse. I would not use salt on your selenite. I would not cleanse it in water. I would not leave it out in the sun. Leave it out in the moonlight to cleanse. Cleanse it with Palo Santo or sage or dragon's blood resin to burn it you can put it on top of selenite or leave it next to kyanite because kyanite can also cleanse and charge your crystal you can use brown rice but i wouldn't eat the brown rice afterwards because of you know little pieces of this crystal can get into your brown rice and you, you just don't want to ingest it Celestite is wonderful for mental activities. It can help you feel at peace, relaxed, centered, yet your mind is active. And in that way, you can use a good, close or quiet the mind, but you can use this to help you with guided meditations. And not only that is it going to help you with that, but it's also going to help bring positive energies and protections. And this you can use to attract the different spirits. I gotta be right back. No, you don't, kitty. Again, just deal with me with chaos. Chaotic kitty, no. Oh, dear God, why do you do this to me? Down, boy. You crazy cat. That's not good. <sighs> Loki's becoming more active. And if you're new to this channel, I apologize, but this happens. I think some people get a kick out of it, seeing the cats drive me nuts. So, a Celestite is great to bring awareness to your personal truth. And it's going to assist in the evolution of your... Uh, how can I say? The evolution of higher levels of your consciousness. So. It's really good. This is really good. For. Uh, spiritual awareness. Heighten your psychic powers. Yes, this is a stone that can heighten your psychic powers. Now, the angels have been uh, that are connected to this is Raguel, Gabriel, and Yulfiel has been associated with these crystals. Just for those who are into angels.
Celestite is such a loving, it, it's good for a stone for compassion and empathy and to raise compassion, empathy, and divine love. Like real true love. We're not talking about conjugal love. We're, or carnal love. We're talking about true, divine, divinely inspired love. Celestite is great for clarity. Clear thinking, making clear choices. And, and understanding things clear, clearly and to see clearly. Especially not only strengthening the psychic powers, but also tuning it into it and to making it more clearer. So much more clearer. So it's like your radio antenna. That's what it can act like where you can tune into it and it does attune, attune you with the higher realms it's really going to take you to eliminate those spiritual toxins to eliminate to help you eliminate those negative thoughts so if you feel like you're stuck in lower realms this is going to get you into higher realms and it's a great one for uh those with clarity just clarity it's a great stone for creativity it's going to really help you think of new and better ideas solutions so when you're dealing with a problem you can meditate with this and a, you may end up coming up with an aha moment solution to things that are going on this is a great resolution stone so if like I said during the time you need to have an intervention it can also resolve problems so maybe you're having uh, an argument maybe you had an argument maybe you had a fight with someone this can help with resolution and forgiveness. This is a stone that deals with forgiveness. Sometimes we don't forgive people to benefit them. We do it to benefit ourselves. Sometimes it's even a matter of forgiving ourselves for our own shortcomings. To help let things go. So that you can heal. And that's easier said than done. But it can help you do that. The planets. That it. Connects with. Is your Neptune. Neptune and Venus. Venus and Neptune. The chemical formula to this crystal is SRSO4. So it's S, capital S, small r, capital S, capital O, number 4. So... This is going to help you. When I said psychic powers can also do with the fortune telling. It's a good one to have when you're communicating. Especially if you're doing Ouija board. You want to make sure that. If, especially if you want to commu communicate with higher spirits. You want to make sure you can have a selenite. I mean, I mean, sustite. But for definitely for protection. Like when I said you feel uncomfortable. You can put selenite and celestite around yourself. In that order, so like a selenite, celestite, selenite, celestite. It's going to be harder for negative spirits to get through.
It's a stone that helps serve you to astral travel. It will help you to spiritually leave your body. It provides freedom for you to travel. It's also a stone of peace and tranquility. This is a peace and tranquility stone. This stone is also excellent for dream recalls. So, if you're doing a dream journal and you need to recall your dreams, you can use the stone. But also, a uh, little advice, if you're doing dream journaling, it's good to have the journal near you at by your bedside so that when you wake up upon awakening like well if you need your glasses I need glasses to write so I'm old but it's best to start writing in your journal if you can before your feet touch the ground you know what I mean so yeah, but this can, but sometimes, you know, easier said than done. Some people can't do that. Some people have to wash the sleep out of their eyes. They have to, you know, get their glasses on. Feed the hungry cats that are meowing. So, you know, sometimes the dream, dream journal has to wait for about a half hour to an hour. So that's where selenite can, I mean, Lula, celestite, celestite comes in. I don't know why I got selenite in my head. Celestite. This is going to, this is, this crystal balances your, balances and stabilizes the energy, the yin-yang energy within you balances all energy and brings things into uh, alignment. It's, it, it's like a spiritual, it's like a chiropractor for your aura. It's going to, and your energy, it's going to align it, set it right. It's a great stone for protection. Especially from spiritual and outside forces. So for those who are musicians. Maybe you're a drummer. Maybe you, maybe you play the violin. A guitar. Doesn't matter whatever music. It could be jazz, blues, metal. This is a stone that is great for musicians. This stone is great to help you be creative in music. To have that, to become, to, maybe you're having a brain fart. Maybe you're having a block. A writer, either there's writer's block, there's also musician's block. Maybe you're having trouble, you know, composing some new music. Just, you know, sit down with Celestite. Let it clear, you know, let it clear your mind. Of the flotsam and jetsam and let it uh, inspire you to write new music maybe to write that new song so it's great for that so celestite is a great stone of joy and bliss. A stone of joy and bliss. It could bring harmony into your life. Now, 
sometimes they say that the fairy of good fortune lives in these stones where it gets rid of uh, anxiety and worry and gives you the freedom of movement and you know to help you with your intellect your thought patterns maybe you're nervous maybe you got that test maybe this this test is gonna make you or break you maybe you have to jump to a college exam entrance exam so and your nerves are, are gone down the toilet you know carry a celestite with you program it just hold it in your hand cleanse it hold it in your hand and just tell the stone to please help me pass this exam to let me let my nerves be at peace that everything be in harmony let me recall all the information that I have learned that will help me pass this particular test you know Ow. Joker. Okay. Adios. You're annoying. You're really, 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 really annoying, little boy. He's going to find another way to come over and be annoying. Now, Blue, another angel that actually works with this, I just remembered. So, let's go back to the angels because of my brain, my particular brain fart, which one of the angels is Michael, Michael, but his name is pronounced Michael, the look on the C-H. So, the other angels is, like I said, Gabriel, Raguel. Yophiel has been associated with this angel, with this stone. Now, there's Lilac's uh, Celestite, and that works great with Zadkiel. So, Celestite is also said to connect you with the star beings of the Pleiades. Now, this is going to help you with your instinct and your intuition. Not just psychic powers, but your instinct and your intuition. And it's really, really, really going to help you come up with ideas to help you think outside the box. Now, modern, Christ, uh, modern crystal lore. Now, this is just modern lore. Said that Celestite was actually created by Angelic Wire. And that's why you have angelic communication. Now that's just modern crystal lore. Now, this stone helps you to see the light at the end of the tunnel. To help you see the, you know, positivity. Instead of uh, thinking negative... Or that something negative is going to happen at the end. That something to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That there is light. That the dawn from the darkest night, ap what happens after the darkest night, the dawn arrives. And with the dawn, dawn comes the light and the sun. That's what it's going to help you to remember. Just holding this stone can really 
start affecting you in positive ways. You like to be annoying, don't you, mister? You keep going after my dress. You're annoying. Celestite is going to help you with channeling. So, to help you, you know, have more intense communications with higher beings. Celestite helps you to have confidence in yourself, to believe in yourself. It's going to help you find opportunities for you to improve yourself and your life. It's going to bring more positivity into, into yourself and help you to let go of false pride and jealousy and to be willing to accept to be open-minded and to be to have acceptance and we're not talking about accepting people's mediocre bullshit but to find acceptance it's also a stone of faith whatever higher power you believe in it will help you to have that faith that it things are going to improve things are going to work out or to have faith in something higher than yourself it's going to connect you with things that are bigger than yourself Now, this stone is about spiritual wealth, not physical wealth, spiritual wealth and enlightenment. This stone is of spiritual wealth and enlightenment. It gives you serenity, peace, calmness. It's just can help you when life has been giving you shit and you've been overburdened this stone can help you with that but if you need therapy please go see a therapist okay Now, this can help you channel energy through yourself. Not just communicate with it, but to literally channel through it and push it out into something. This is going to help you bring in the inner divine forces. It could be forces that you're trying to communicate with. And I'm not talking about, when I say divine, I'm not talking about just Christian, okay? the angelic powers have been in Hinduism I mean we see them throughout different spiritual and religious traditions other than just Judeo-Christians but what I was saying is going to help you channel energies and powers to help you you know do the cone of power but this is not going to help you do negative shit so if you're planning to do negative stuff my thing is don't work with this work with a different stone for a different for whatever you're doing if you're cursing someone Celestate's not going to help you it really isn't it's not going to hurt you it's just It's like trying to get a bubbly, happy person to be goth. It's just not going to work.
You're not going to take a jazz lover and make them into a metalhead. <laughs> I mean, you can like metal as well as jazz, but I think you know what I mean. There's just certain things that just, it just works against its nature. Even Aleister Crowley warned people that, yet you don't make, take certain things and make it work against its nature. Okay? Basically, when you handle a rattlesnake, you know what you get. You're such a cute little kitty. I want to give you raspberries on your stomach. Yes, you do. Mm, I love you, Joker. Mm, I'm giving him a kiss. I gave him a kiss on his head. Did you hear that? So, this is going to make things more sacred. Uh, dare I say the word holy? And I'm not trying to use this as like Jesus y kind of thing. Y'all know I'm I'm not Christian, right? I I am a witch and ceremony and and magician, and I I work with Enochian. So yeah, this can help you with some Enochian. Well, people, one person got mad at me. He said you're not even pronouncing it right. I said, I, oh yeah, it would be pronounced Hanak or Enochian because of ch, but. Yeah. But anyways, when you're working with those beings, you can use this to contact them. Especially when you're contacting the higher beings. So, the seniors, which are called the... Uh, the kings, which are called the sun seniors, or the seniors, or the an angelic forces of Enochian magic. So, if you're looking to travel the higher planes, you're doing path workings with the Kabbalah and the Tree of Life. This is this is great for you. This is going to help you contact your spirit animals too, not just your spirit guides, but your spirit animals. The, the beings that are meant to help you. Sometimes we have temporary spirit animals or temporary beings. They're only there for that one thing. And once they achieve that one thing, you may never see them again. There are beings that hang around you for maybe a few days, a few months, or a few years. Some of them are meant to stay with you to the day you leave this body. You will have animals that will be temporary there for you. Spirit animals, spirit beings, spirit guardians, whatever. Maybe they're there for uh, um, during a traumatic time in your life. And they're only there to help you with that. And once they're done, they're done. So, it really, really, really will help you realize them. So if you feel like you're a person that's over judgy and you're very judgmental, this stone can help you, hey, relax. Stop being so judgmental. Don't be an asshole. Okay, just calm down. CTFD. And just be in a state of acceptance. And again, you don't have to accept someone's mediocre bullshit or abuse either. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying accept your abusive boyfriend while he beats you up. What it's going to show you is... Honey, he's not going to change. He or she's not going to change. Sometimes even with therapy, they just don't change. You just need to get out of the toxic situation. Don't think because you left them for a week or a month you taught them a lesson about not beating you up. Because when you go back, it may seem wonderful for like a week or two. And let me tell you, it will get even worse. The beatings you had 
would be nothing compared with the beatings you will get. Let me tell you, if you're in a bad relationship, get out. Get out. Hightail it out of there. Okay, call the police. Call the authorities. Document everything. Get pictures. You know, get a support system. Celeste has a way of connecting you with positivity. It has a way of saying this is toxic. What you're in, what's happening is toxic. You need to do something about it. Sometimes there may be fallout. But it's better than being in a toxic situation. And I'm not telling you to do anything illegal. That I'm not telling you to do at all. What I'm telling you to do is get the law on your side and get out. So anyways, enough about that. This is going to teach you self-love. Sometimes after we've been in a toxic situation, we don't love ourselves. We don't want to love ourselves. We, we, sometimes when you're in a toxic situation, you believe you deserved it. This is going to help you to say no. To accept yourself, self-acceptance, self-love, self-care, self-belief. It's good for meditation practices, doing prayers. Maybe you're doing a Santa Muerte rosary or you're doing, uh, yes, there is rosary to the Santa Muerte. Look that up. Uh, there are different versions of it. There, You have a pagan version. You have one that's just about her. You have a Christian version, a Catholic version. So it will help you with meditation, prayers, spell work, especially positivity. good for it's good to help with healing to just keep it on you if you're having some chronic UTIs it's good to help you sometimes I wish I really remembered you know uh, but it's good to help you with it's said to help with eye problems and issues with that Again, use Celestite along with medication and medical advice. Do not skip the medical advice. Do not skip the doctor and just say, I'm going to just rely on my Celestite. No, that's not how it works. It's not how it works at all. It's like you're just going to do a rosary and just ignore that you have cancer or something. Oh, the rosary is going to heal you. Well, you know. Anyways, I digress. So it can help you ameliorate like digestive digestive disorders. It can help you with uh, any problems or dysfunctions with your intestinal system. So if you're having issues with your intestines, it's good for... When you feel mentally unbalanced, emotionally unbalanced, it's good for the problems with your eyes. And it can help you eliminate toxins or negativities from your systems. Again, with medical health. This is a great stone to help receive blessings from the spirits. From maybe you want a blessing from the goddess Diana or the goddess Kali or I don't know whatever deity you're working with maybe you're working with different spirits to help you Santa Muerte to get her blessings and again nothing negative you're not going to use Celestite to ask Santa Muerte to go kill your enemy. 
or destroy your enemy. And I'm not saying do it physically. I am not telling you to break the law. That's wrong. So. Anyways. Yeah, so. This is good for concentration. And to actually, sometimes when I'm around so Celestite, I just want to go and kind of vibe out. You know what I mean? Just chill out. But just really get into the vibe of things. Just to feel like I'm floating on a cloud. It can help you with that. It can transmute, you know, chaos crazy can it transmute crazy chaos kitty well not them oh, joker's laying on my lap being so cute and rolling around here, let me see you hear his bell yeah so it's an excellent stone to like really 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 cleanse the area so if the area has pain itself like sometimes when something bad's happened it can literally live, leave a psychic wound into the area. This is good to help heal that problem. It can really help with that. It may not totally heal it. And maybe there are portals that you need to close or that are not closing. You can put celestite and selenite around that portal. So to help you know yeah you're not coming out of this circle so plus there's other things that you can do you you know sometimes if the portal won't close you, you can use a pendulum to help close that portal or use sage and then sometimes where i had problems closing things what i did is i put a psychic mesh around it and i had to teach the person how to do it put a patch so that the spirits that are good spirits are coming out but the bad spirits are caught like in a net but there was other things that had to be done there was something really crazy about this home and this was way back what was i say uh 1995 i want to say yeah around 94 or 95 but what was also going on was it was a negative relationship, which was fueling it. And the person was a heroin addict and was a, was married to someone, but was temporarily living with her. And then going back to the wife and sleeping in the same bed. So it was just really, really, really toxic, which was fueling things. And there's only so, so much I could have done. So... When you got a toxic situation and you have a portal that just doesn't want to close, there's only so much you can do, you know. But again, that was back in 1994, 95, and I've learned so much. It's already 2023, so. And I wasn't a beginner back then either. I started my path in 1983. Sorry, not 1993, 1983. So it's going to help you with that. So if you got portals and issues with that, I would try to give selenite. Not selenite, celestite. Celestite. You know. But also with selenite. So, Celestite helps you with pure intention, good intentions. The really, ow, you're really digging your nail in me. To really help you with uh, pure intentions. Joker, he dug his nail in me and that hurt. You gotta get your claws clipped. I don't believe in declawing. It's wrong. 
and it should be fucking abolished. So unless your cat has a really bad problem with their legs where if their claws are getting stuck into everything and they're ripping themselves apart, that's the only time I would think about maybe declawing would be the best thing. But, nah, I'm... It, it would have to be something like that for me to say maybe it should be done. But, no, I, I, I'm, a pro, I'm against it. I'm not a proponent. I am against it. The clawing is not just taking the claw. It's taking their knuckle. It's like clipping their finger right here. It's wrong. So I just have to deal with it. Come on, boy. You're digging into me. <laughs> I love you, Joker. You crazy little boy. So, so, so Celestite. will bring in the spiritual beauty will help you realize your own power to believe in yourself and see your self worth and your spiritual connection with the all to connect with the god the goddess divinity is going to help you connect and realize that you you or a whole person. Maybe you're fractured. Maybe those. Do so you ever see crystals with those beautiful little fractures? Maybe you're just beautifully fractured. And it's your way of bringing in the light. And reflecting it. And you know. But you. Your spirit. To realize that you are connected. To appreciate, to love yourself, and to forgive yourself. I mean, we've all done stupid things, so I've done stupid things, but the thing is, is to forgive yourself. Because it is the power of the celestial, it is a heaven on earth stone. And I don't just mean the Christian heaven. I'm looking at, when you think about the heavenly things, you can think about Olympus. You can think about, you know, the place of the gods and goddesses that are in your heart. So anyways, there's so much to learn about Celestite, and I've been talking about this for like an hour and three minutes and blabbing on. So, before I go, I want you to check out a channel called Womp Stomp. Two words. W-O-M-P, next word S-T-O-M-P. I have, I am not being paid by them or anything. I have no connection with them. I just think they do great horror movies. And they're coming out with Never Hike Alone Part 2. Please look it up. Look up the uh, trailer. If you're a Jason fan, Friday the 13th, you're just going to like, oh, this is great. And they have one of the actors from Friday the 13th that played in Friday the 13th. You'll know him when you see him. But check it out. The trailer, this, this movie deserves to be major motion picture, okay? So, check out Womp Stomp, you know, check out Never Hike Alone, part one, check out Never Hike Alone in the Snow, which is tremendous, oh, it's great. Also, check out uh, Manon's channel, Witch in the Workings, check out his channel, I personally know the guy. I think you'll like his stuff. Especially in all things witchy. So. I don't have a Patreon account guys. And I'm not going to start a Patreon account where I'm going to charge you to look at different 
different videos. You know, I, I respect people who do that, but that's not what I do. All my videos are free, completely free. So, I would be so grateful if you do subscribe to this channel because it helps the algorithms so that this knowledge gets out to everyone. Okay? Give me a thumbs up, especially if I deserved it. Uh, if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. But I also like to know what you think about Celeste. What, how do you work with Celeste? Have you worked with it? Do you own a piece of it? I would love you to hit me up in the comments. And I will respond as soon as I can. So, also please, I am all open to people, you know, if you want to pay me. I'm not asking for money. Send some good energy, some good spells, light some candles, send some good spirits to keep Loki healthy and my cat Shadow. He is getting so much better, Loki Lofison, my cat. Uh, he, he was here before, but he really, really, really can use healing because he had crystals in his urine. He was bleeding out of his urine. I've taken him back and forth to the vets. I had him on different medicine, different pain management. So he's getting a lot better, but please keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I accept all your good energy for money, for protection, for happiness, for health. I accept it all. So all the good stuff, I don't, you know, to, you know, protect my, to send protections to my home, to everyone who lives here, to protect all my cats, healing to my cats so that they can live to at least 23, 25 years old. I accept that, okay? But I don't charge one red cent for this video. And you don't have to do anything. I'm not, I'm not demanding it, okay? I'm not demanding any payment. But it would be so much appreciate if, appreciate if you do because it helps my channel grow and it lets me know I'm doing a good job so that I can keep on doing these videos. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate this. And as always... Blessed be.